Kerr 9000's Game Room. Hi, it's Kerr 9000. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm about to show you a video which basically shows me changing the battery on my Nintendo Switch. Now, this is the Switch in question. The reason I wanted to make this video wasn't because I'm turning into a technical channel. Sure, I might show some consoles I've had. I've even modified things in the past, but I'm not that great. I have epilepsy and I have what they call petty mouse seizures or otherwise known as vacancies where my brain turns off for a few seconds which is not ideally what you want when you're dealing with hardware. You know, screwdrivers inside metal and brains turning off, not a winning combination. I also shake quite a bit at times because of the medication I take for my epilepsy. So I'm making this video more for the layman to see whether you think you could do it. Uh, don't watch this as a guide on exactly how to do it. People have got much clearer quality cameras showing that. This sort of shows you, if you think you're an idiot and you won't manage it, will this idiot manage it? Well, I'll be back after the next bit to say how I got on with it. But watch this first. Now, we have a special Hong Kong, hopefully not gone wrong, battery. which looks pretty bloody big, really. Um, it's cost me £15, pounds. it's got a little screwdriver kit with it. And stuff to prise the console open. Now, I have got my own screwdrivers previously, but as this was about 50p more than the first battery I looked at and came with screwdrivers, I thought I'd go for this one. We've got a couple of different size screwdrivers. So let us begin. Like I was saying, there's a Spider-Man sticker on the back of this one, mostly to remember which switch it is. Um, luckily, if anything went wrong here, I already have a replacement, which I've been using for a while. Just prior to COVID, I got the option to buy one without a dock for £100 and decided that it was good insurance in case me or my missus dropped or you know anything our switches now you're probably going to say why would you drop it but i actually suffer from epilepsy which also makes me shake or at least my medications do so There's a few other good things about potentially taking this apart. You see, I've not... There's these ones in the side here. The middle ones, I'm told, are to keep the machine together. There's one just here under the SD card. Right. Now it's time to get this thing that I think looks like a guitar plectrum. And you like run it around the machine. You probably had a little crack then. You're basically trying to pop little bits of levers open.
Oh, there we go. That's the back off. Now. I'm just going to wipe the dust out of the back. It's clearly where the fan and stuff has uh, Now it's like tiny shielding screws. I tend to find the deeper I go into things like this, the more worried I get. I would sooner just be surface level cleaning ports and things. I'm aware my camera angles probably aren't the best on this. So I wouldn't say this is the ideal video for you to follow. The main reason I want to do it is because of the fact that I'm not the greatest at this sort of thing. I know I shake with my epilepsy meds and I figure that this might put somebody else at ease who's a little bit worried. Oh, there's another little screw in the middle. So, don't consider me a tech expert. Consider this somewhat of an idiot's attempt. doesn't really want to lift up one side. Ah, uh, little screw that I couldn't see. Most important rule of thumb with this sort of thing is do not force it. Because if you can guarantee one thing is going to make something not work, and there's the shielding off. Oh, look at me shaking like a shitting leaf. Um, I got a bad feeling that Nintendo glue these fucking batteries in.
Okay, I just want to say that mine was stuck down with the stickiest shit known to man. People a show just loosely pull it up. Um, yeah. That is not the experience I had in the slightest. There's some kind of gluey stuff in here, but I'm not going to put it down with anywhere near. Okay, so I've pushed the new battery in place. Bit of sticky stuff. Nowhere near what Nintendo had. I've pushed this thing down and I hope it works. Um, Ooh, I suppose now what remains is to put it back together, which I'm going to do off camera. The moment of truth, does it turn on? Yep, there's the Nintendo logo. And there it is turning on. Oh. Connect a Joy-Con to it. Data management. Checking for free space. So there's my SD card. I did have to take this part again because it didn't see the SD card. I don't like the way it just like pushes onto the board and I was worried whether I pushed it firm enough and I think the first time I hadn't so uh, fingers crossed I'm gonna power it off put every last screw in the back panel in and then use it for 20 minutes and see what happens okay so I'm back you've probably seen the footage of me uh, you know dealing with the battery in my switch. I didn't show everything. I cut away at one point because when I actually got deep into it and got to the battery, wow, was that thing glued in tight. I really didn't expect it. And I proper had to get like a plastic card and a screwdriver and all sorts underneath there and really prise it up. And I was quite bluntly terrified that I was gonna go through the machine or that I'd go like that and upturn my entire laptop so I decided to do that bit off screen but that is something to bear in mind if you do try it the battery doesn't just pull out like some people seem to show or at least it didn't in my case there was a heck of a lot of sticky stuff behind it I got like a flat card and slowly wedged it under more and more and it did take a lot of pressure to come up how difficult would I rate this well I wouldn't call it easy, but I wouldn't call it hard. I think if you're slow and methodical and you look where all the screws are and you really get it down in your head what you're going to do, and if you get confused, pause and basically take the information in again, it's possible even for a layperson. The challenges I found were obviously, like I said, getting the battery out, but also the micro SD card reader just kind of pushes onto the board. Um, I don't know the name of the connection. I'm not technical. Somebody would tell you, but you literally just push it on. When I first did it, I was being gentle. I really pushed it on one side, closed it back up, and it didn't work one time. 
So, you know, obviously you're inside technology and you're going to be worried. So I'm not saying go jabbing around like anything, but in the case of that SD card reader, if you do it and it doesn't work, go back in and do a harder press. So how did the battery go? I showed that it turned on when I uh, originally replaced it, but I wanted to go away, play on it, charge it a few times. Now, when I first got it in, it said it was 100%, and this went down at a reasonable pace, but I found that once it's been charged and lost charge a few times and I've played it, the battery pretty much at the moment seems like having a brand new switch. It seems like it was when I first got the machine, which is all I could hope for, and hopefully it lasts like this for a long time. So all in all, I'll leave a link for this particular battery in the description, because I suppose this is a review of the battery as much as it is a review of the process. Um, I hope this video has been useful to you if you've been thinking about changing your switch battery. And like I said, there are absolute experts out there that you can watch do it in seconds with crystal clear camera view. And they'll take you through every screw. But that's not what I'm trying to provide. I'm sure people have done it in much faster, much cleaner, much better ways than I have. Consider this just a video to have watched an idiot to see whether you could do it or not. Anyway, I hope this has been of some use. Plenty more stuff on my channel, including reviews of video games, emulation consoles, horror films, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, thank you for making it to the end of my video. Most importantly, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care of yourself and each other. Laters, taters. Hi, it's Kerr9000. I'd just like to say thank you for making it to the end of my video. I've got lots of stuff on my channel, my horror house doing horror reviews, my game room where I talk about video games, sci-fi station, my diet corner videos, all kinds of stuff. I can also be found on the Retro Gamer U forum and the JRcade forum, which are both great places full of great people and some great video game conversations. At the end of this video there'll be a little icon to tick if you want to subscribe, a link to a video and a link to one of my playlists. I'd also like to recommend the wonderful talented Just Jessica 1988 on TikTok, who does a lot of diet videos and is my supportive partner. Thank you once again for watching my video, and particularly if you follow me, thank you for all of your support. Have a great rest of your day. Laters, taters.